The Murasama is an extremely overpowered sword that can only be obtained deep in hell and can only be used after defeating Yaron the Jungle Dragon. But creating my character with a certain name, well, I pretty much have access to this weapon right off the bat. So, what's gonna happen with this godly weapon in my hands? Stay tuned to find out. Alright, hello everyone, welcome back, welcome back. So in this video, I'll be starting with the Murasama. And to make things a little bit more interesting, I added a timer on the top right of the screen just to see how fast I can get to certain stages in the game. And yeah, let's begin. So the first boss I'm gonna fight is pretty obvious. I got a slime crown from the starter bag, which summons the king slime. But right when I was about to kill it, the guide shot an arrow at it and took my goddamn kill. So I know I have this insanely strong weapon, but that doesn't change the fact that mining is going to take forever. But to help with that a little bit, I installed the vein miner mod that lets me mine all of the ores just by breaking one. Oh wow, I got enough emeralds to make an emerald hook in just 6 minutes, I think that's pretty good. Alright, time to get rid of this copper pickaxe. Annoying? Are you serious? Broken? Hey yo, this game just hates me sometimes. So about 11 minutes into the game, I made a huge mistake. Oh god. Oh god, what do I do? Uh, I gotta quit. I swear, if I didn't leave the game, I would have mined out the entire world. But thankfully, it stopped. Alright, finally made it to the dungeon. Let's go summon Skeletron real quick and take care of him. Alright, so after a very long time, I finally made it to hell. I killed the voodoo demon and it summoned the wall of flesh, but a skeleton fell right on top of my head and knocked me off the rope, so I fell into lava. Like how unlucky can I be in just one video? Come on. Now I'm gonna have to wait for the guide to respawn and god knows how long that's gonna take. I thought maybe there's still some time to catch up to it because if you guys didn't know, if you're behind the wall of flesh, it'll pull you like this. But unfortunately it pulled me through lava, so there goes my second chance. After I respawned, I bought the slime crown from the dryad to summon the king slime once more. I killed it and this time I got the slime out. But I wasn't going to fight it just yet. I wanted to kill the brain of Cthulhu first, so I made my way into the crimson and broke some hearts to summon it. Wow, that was really hard. I summoned the Brain of Cthulhu again because I wanted more materials, and I didn't even know that I killed the Perforator at the same time I killed the Brain of Cthulhu. With the materials, I made the full Crimson Armor set, and since each piece gives 2% increased damage, that's 6% in total. The Murasama has 20,000 damage, so 6% of that is 1,200. That's the equivalent of 6 Zenith Swords combined. Alright, Wall of Flesh, round 3. It's an embarrassment dying two times already with this sword. I just can't let it happen a third time. Alright, so I'm gonna need some Souls of Night and some Souls of Light to... God damn it! As I was saying before, I'm gonna need some Souls of Night and Souls of Light to start making the mechanical boss summons. Don't you just hate getting interrupted by things. And it's that time again, breaking some Crimson Altar to spawn in the hard mode ours. But the good thing is, I don't have to mine nearly as much ore since I have this weapon. All I need is the Oracle Command Bowl. Alright, next boss in line, the Slime God. I would love to let it live and just listen to this music, but I'm on a time crunch, so goodbye. Next up, I made a few more houses, went down to the dungeon to get a cobalt shield, cause no one likes knockback, am I right? And then I dealt with my first mechanical boss, the destroyer. I know I don't have a oracalcum anvil yet, but I did get the boss summon from a drop. After defeating the boss once, I can buy the same one from the steampunker. So I kept killing it until I got enough hollowed bars to make the full hollowed armor. This is going to be really useful since I have really low HP, so it might save me from getting one shot. Then there was a solar eclipse. I didn't have any wings, so this was a perfect opportunity to get one. After killing just a few vampires, I was able to get the broken bat wings. 
Now all I need are some souls of flight, but for some reason there were no wyverns spawning at all. It took me a whole 10 minutes just to get 20 souls of flight, but at least I did get them at the end. I got back home and then made the bat wings. Now the next boss on my list is Astrum Dias. This boss had to be the hardest one by far from all the other bosses that I fought in this video. All because of its 99% damage reduction that lasts for 10 seconds after it spawns. And with only 160 HP, it was quite the challenge. Next up is the Cryogen. I know I should have done this first, but since I have an overpowered weapon, order doesn't really matter anymore. I literally one-shot almost every boss. Now that the Archmage is here, I bought some enchanted metal from him and made those into the mechanical boss summons. Then at night, I summon the Twins and Skeletron Prime. After defeating the mechanical bosses, I went back to the astral area to defeat Astrum Arius. Now this boss was a bit beefier so it took a couple more hits to kill. Then in the jungle, I was able to find all of my life crystals to get me to max HP. And I also found the plantera bulb fairly fast. Not like those other times where it took an hour or two just to find it. After I killed plantera, I made my way into the temple and summoned the gold home. I actually forgot how huge this arena was. Dead, 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 and dead. I made my way to the dungeon after killing Golem a billion times, and I ended up killing the Lunatic Cultist before it even spawned. This just shows how broken this weapon is. And then I destroyed the four celestial pillars, starting with the Stardust Pillar, then Nebula, Vortex, and then finally Solar. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. After a long and excruciating 2 hours and 23 minutes into the game, it's time to fight Moonlord, one of the hardest bosses in the- Oh. It died. <laughs> I then killed Moonlord a few more times to get enough Luminite to make the full solar armor. Hey guys, I really hope you liked the video. The reason why these videos have been kinda short recently is because I'll be getting my wisdom teeth taken out literally tomorrow, so I just don't have enough time to make two full out videos for you guys. I'm not sure when I'll be able to talk normally as well, but hopefully in the next couple of days. Anyways, thanks for watching, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.